All right, so it's, uh, it's January, it's a new year, and uh, you know what that means, right? It's time to diet. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't be glum, old chum. Plenty of food challenges to get stuck into. Do you just call me chum? Yeah, like pedigree chum. Come on, mush. <laughs> Try not to do this this time. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> so you get uh, 20 minutes for this one. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Uh, very generous. I thought I was gonna have to rush. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna face this outwards if that's okay. All right. Okay. I'm, uh... By the way, we're at the grill shed. People keep saying that uh, I'm rude because I don't remember the name of the the restaurant I'm at. Got a, a, a bad memory. That's all. But we've been here a few times, so. I've, I, I've got the name down, right? Let's uh, let's get stuck into it. I probably wasted a minute already, just jibber jabbering. Yeah, but it wouldn't be the first time I talk a lot. Welcome back, Beard Army, and uh, happy new year. I'll start with the. <laughs> yeah, this looks. <laughs> it's really hot, but it looks delicious. Yeah, delicious and huge. Look at this thing. It's flipping ginormous. But, um, delicious. Anyway, this is the, uh, the Jawbreaker Challenge at the Grill Shed. And if you've been subscribed for a while, you might know that I've been here before. I did the undefeated Sasquatch Platter about, I don't know, a few months ago. And that video was really well received, so I decided to come back and take on this, uh, Jawbreaker thing. And, uh, listen to this music, by the way. It's jamming. I feel like I'm in a 1980s Michael Douglas adventure romance or something. Loving it. It's good, but it's super hot. Ah, I should have started with the core floor. Some fantastic tactical analysis there from Mrs. Beard on the sidelines. Probably should have started with the core floor. I'm not the biggest fan of slaw of any kind, cola or otherwise. But it, it wasn't bad. I just decided to start with the burger, which is topped with bacon, cheese, and pulled pork. Yeah, the onion rings here are the nicest. You remember last time I was here, the onion rings were very good. Chewy, but, but good. Ugh. This is one of those burgers you just couldn't eat. Whole like a burger, yeah. You have to break it up into two. Yeah, not even Steve Tyler himself could wrap his massive gob around this thing. You gotta deconstruct it. To be honest, I'm not that surprised that so many people have failed it. I kept my coat on because I was super cold when we came in. <laughs> but I'm starting to warm up now. Yeah, so if you were wondering about the dark green puffer jacket, that's the explanation. I think it's quite fetching. Oh. More chips than any man should ever have to eat. Here we go. Just a few days into 2020. I'm already starting the uh, the anti-fries rhetoric. These weren't bad though, actually. Pretty fluffy. I think mostly because of the heat. So they were reasonably easy to get down. Look at this though. Ugh. Ball of coleslaw. One benefit of eating this while it's so hot though is that the fries are actually pretty easy to eat for a change. Oh yeah. That's mine. It's definitely one of mine. Yeah, always a sad moment when you lose a beard hair. No time to reflect though. Oh. I tried to keep it clean, I promise. I'm still doing a pretty good job though. From from this distance, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, we've got these. These things are like onion rings on steroids. They're huge. Now there's an overused figure of speech. They were pretty big, but I'm I'm sure they're free of you know androgens and stuff. <laughs> anyway, this thing costs 28 quid to order. You get 30 minutes to finish. Yeah, I hate to say it, but if I want to compete well this year, I might need to. I might need to trim this a little bit. Not shave, let's not let's not go mental. Yeah, well, hold up. I think what I'm trying to get at is if I want to do the best I can this year, if I can improve on last year's season with Major League Eating, I might need to trim the old beard a little more often. Most of the contests last year that was really focused on 
before I left, I uh, paid my barber to trim my moustache a little bit. But I might even have to clip back the, the part under the mouth too. It's getting uh, it's getting bushy. It's a new year. I'm not gonna try and kill myself. God, this is beer busting my chops already. I'm trying to ease into 2020. I don't want to go straight into fifth gear. Anyway, this was a <laughs> it was a fun challenge. It was enjoyable. Really liked the burger. Fries weren't bad. Onion rings, fantastic. The coleslaw. Nobody gets excited about coleslaw, but. Solid win to kick off 2020. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you at the next one. These onion rings are chewy. Nick of time. <laughs> what was that, like 15 minutes or Oh, thank you. Sorry, my beard's a total. Bit. <laughs> that was delicious, though. I really enjoyed that. Tell the, tell the chef that was really, really nice. Definitely record time. Oh, cool. What <laughs> time I set a record at something. <laughs>